Hello, my crafty friends. Today I am sharing a card using some of Karen Berniston's new release. I'm going to show you the card and then go over some of the details. So it says hello on the front. There's some envelopes as a lead in and inside is the mailbox pop up. So the mailbox pop up is brand new and you can see the flag raises and lowers as the card opens and closes and the lid of the mailbox comes down and go, then goes back up as the card opens and closes. So that's going to be really fun. I know I was really excited when I saw the mailbox pop up coming and then the rest of the design team echoed my enthusiasm. They're all as excited about it as I am. So it's just a generic card that you can send out. I made mine in a Valentine's theme because that's kind of the season right now, but you can use it for any season and a lot of different occasions. So I started with the Hello, which is a previously released die from Karen Berniston. There is the scripty Hello, and there's also a shadow die for it. I always say Karen Berniston's dies place so nicely together. So this is where you can see how new and previously released items work together. So there's the Hello on the front. The little envelopes come with the mailbox pop-up. So that was my front. The pattern paper is an older pattern paper from my stash. There were just a few loose sheets in it. There's no cover on it, but I did use it for this mini slimline card. And it will fit in just a standard number eight envelope or a six and three quarter inch, they're sometimes called. So they, they there are envelopes in Canada and the US anyhow that are easily available. Inside, in addition to the mailbox pop-up, I have the Thinking of You that is from Karen Berniston's Word Set 10. So there's just sitting here Thinking of You. And I just used the Thinking of You. I cut it from red cardstock. It cuts as a single piece, so it's really easy to adhere. All the different hearts are included with the mailbox pop-up, which is here. So there's the different hearts, you get the little envelope, everything you need to make the card is included other than sentiments. The mailbox post has got that new stamp and cut technology, so I inked it with brown ink and that gave me my wood grain and die cut the post at the same time. Karen Berniston will have assembly videos on her on her website for all of the new dies that are coming. This is just one of the new dies in the new release. I will have her website linked in the description box below, as well as my blog where everything that is available is also linked for you. I use stencils for the grass and the clouds. Those are also linked on my blog. And then it's just a sprinkling of hearts. I love that you get so many hearts with just one pass through your machine. I just die cut it a couple of times from red cardstock and put all of those little hearts in a Studio Katia triangle tray so that when I was working on Valentine's, I had all kinds of them that I could use. These ones got a swipe with Wink of Stella. I did use kind of a satin metallic cardstock for the mailbox and the mailbox lid. I had a devil of a time though getting my envelope to adhere to it and I couldn't figure out what was going wrong and then I realized it was because the metallic, nothing was really adhering to it. So I did kind of tear it apart and added this gray cardstock. So just a heads up, if you're going to use metallic cardstock that you use an adhesive that will work or just test it before you send it off to someone, I will have all of the details as to when the new release is shipping, when they're taking pre-orders, etc. That information will also be on my blog post in that description box below. If you enjoyed my card today, please give the video a thumbs up and subscribe to see more. And that's it for me today.